And obviously you got five, five more, but I mean, uh, I almost hate to ask you if any of it stood out. It was like almost all of them did, but did any of them stand out above the other that you're just most excited about? You know what? I, I, I don't know if you heard me say it to Lord tonight, but I was thinking about this tonight. You know, we, we own a few libraries, you know, in, in combat sports. This is the second best library in, in combat sports. I mean, you can make the argument for Pride because Pride had some classic, unbelievable fights, but they had a lot of shitty fights on there, a lot of mismatches and things like that, too. But this this thing, in, in four seasons, top to bottom, I mean, every single fight is excellent. It's, it's crazy. This is the second best library in, in, in all of combat sports. It's unbelievable. Yeah. It might be too early, but I want to ask you if you had any update on, on Janzy Silva. Obviously, that main event looked kind of scary with that knee bar submission. Do you? Well, I, I don't, but what I was happy to see is he got up and walked out of the octagon, you know? Um, yeah, so, so hope, I hope he's good. I hope he's okay. Um, and if he's not, we'll get him fixed. <laughs> he walked out under his own power. He right? did. Yeah, he wasn't holding on to anybody. He wasn't, you know... Usually after a knee bar like that, and, 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 and if it's really bad, you don't see guys walking themselves out. So hopefully, knock on wood, he's okay. No doubt. Uh, we had a, a, a rivalry fight, which you don't normally have here in Dana White's Contender Series, where there's tension. You know, I'm just curious, uh, when you found out about, uh, you know, the face-off yesterday, the, the terrorist comment. And, yep. Um, I don't know if, if you thought about doing anything, you know what I mean? It was just, you know, I know you say all the time, is, hey, it's a fight business, people say mean things. Uh, but, you know, that one seemed uh, maybe a little far. You, you know what my answer is to that. Um, are we going to do anything? It got done tonight. You know what I mean? That's the beautiful thing about this sport. I, I, I say it all the time. <clears throat> this is not a nice sport. This is a very rough sport. We say a lot of mean things to each other, a lot of, you know, uh, and, and, and justice gets served at the end of the day. I mean, the, Listen, when, when you have a situation like that, the best way to solve the problem is you fight. And you fight legally, and uh, you get paid to do it, and that's what happened tonight. Do you ever feel that there is a line, though, that you got to worry about? Like, hey, maybe that was a little too far? No. no. Not, not in this business, I don't. Yeah. There's been, if, you, if you look, you can add that to the pile of some pretty nasty things that have been said in this, in this sport. And not just this sport, boxing. I'm sure Muay Thai, kickboxing, you know, you, you name it. Mean things are said. In this insanely politically correct world we're living in, this is one place that is not. Yeah. The, the only other thing I wanted to ask you about that is I do wonder sometimes, do you worry about, like, safety and security in there sometimes? Because, like, in a big arena with people yelling at each other, nobody hears anything, right? Yeah, that's when, a, no, when you got great, friends and family 10 feet away. It's a great question. You know, the, the, the truth is, first of all, I think Herb Dean... Was it Herb that did that fight? Yeah, did a great job. At the end of every round, he was right in there to make sure there was no extra punches or, or, or any of that thrown. <clears throat> and then, um, obviously, our security here is very aware of what the situation is, and we make sure cornermen and backstage and, and all that stuff. When, when you come to Khabib here, we make sure that everything is as safe as possible, no matter what's said. And I can point out, too, if you notice at the end of the fight, the beginning of the fight, you know, you know, these guys were both hostile. At the end of the fight, they shook hands and hugged. When you go in and you do, and, and, and you know, um, Basharat even gave him credit at the end of the fight and said he's a tough guy. He's a very tough guy. You know, I was trying to finish him the whole fight. There's a certain respect, a level of respect that is created when you go in and do what those two did tonight. Um, it's the beautiful thing about this sport. Uh, it didn't go well for them all tonight, but you had three Chinese fighters, right, coming from the Shanghai Performance Institute. So I'm just curious kind of, you know, what that means when you see a handful of fighters. I mean, it's got to feel like progress is being made. I mean, again, they didn't get the results, but uh, it seems like the sport's developing quickly. A hundred percent. And if you look at the fights and, 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 and how competitive the fights were, um, yeah, it, it, it's a good thing, man. And, and we're, uh, I don't have the information for you guys yet, so I probably shouldn't even say it, but here I go. Um, you know, we, we got a spot in Mexico City now, so we're, we're going to be breaking ground and, and starting to build that place here uh, really, really, really soon. So um, I'm excited about that, too. Do you have a target date for when that would be operational? I don't, but I, let, I do. Let me get that. Let me get that information. Like I said, I open my big yap right now and don't have all the information, so I'll, I'll get it to you as soon as I can.
Nice. Uh, just two other quick ones. Uh, Josh Quinlan was a guy that won a contract earlier this year, and he ended up testing positive for Drostanolone. He was suspended for nine months uh, by the Nevada Commission. Just curious how you look at that. I mean, uh, is it just, hey, serve your time and you're still here? Or if a guy comes in here and tests positive, do you think about rescinding their contract or pulling that offer? Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's obviously a tough situation. Um, <clears throat> and people make mistakes, and, you know, he's not the first guy here or in professional sports for that to happen. So, you know, I, just, I, I wouldn't destroy the kid's life over it. He's going to pay whatever he's got to pay. He's going to take whatever penalties he's gotten. When you're here, this is the best testing policy on the planet. So be tough to tough to cheat here. Yeah. Uh, we had some surprise news with Mike Perry today that he's joining uh, Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship. So I just want to ask you about that. Was, was that a situation where he was already a free agent, or did he come to you guys and ask for a release? How, how did that all play? Yeah, no. Yeah, he, he, his contract had expired. Um, Mike Perry is a fun fighter. I mean, he's, he's had so many fun fights here. And, uh, you know, I wish him the best. Fair enough. I guess last thing, I guess you're probably heading to Abu Dhabi first thing in the morning. Yep. Uh, any, any nuggets or news notes, anything you can leave with us? Uh, Hopefully when I come home, I'm going to have a ton of news for you guys. So I think my meeting is uh, Saturday. I have a meeting Saturday before the fight and uh, button up some, some business over there that's been, you know, hanging out there for a while. So I, I want to get this done, come back, and, and – and, bury you guys with great news <laughs> i guess only a two-part question sort of for me but when you talk about the contender series i'm gonna try not to repeat any of john's questions as well <laughs> uh any of the uh, you talked about you you said that the contender series the library you think it was the second best but you've also shown love for the ultimate fighter it's always been a baby of yours has the contender series sort of overtaking that for you as to being which is I guess, which is closer to your heart out of those two? Two totally different shows. I mean, you, you, you can't compare the two, and you definitely can't compare the, the libraries because when you look at the Contender Series and what it's meant to be, the Contender Series is the best unsigned guys um, in the world fighting each other to see who gets a contract, one night, whatever. The, the, um, the Ultimate Fighter is more of a developmental show I mean, when you, when you go into the Ultimate Fighter, you come out of that place a better fighter. It's, it's a completely different show. And obviously, the Ultimate Fighter will always be, you know, number one to me. It's the thing that, that made us, and, you know, we've done so many seasons of it. But the Contender Series, I mean, this library, when you, I, you know, we, when we do these knockout and submission videos, the, you know, greatest knockouts and all that stuff, I think every fight in season one was a knockout. I mean, you could, you could do the whole first season, uh, a, a knockout show on that. And, and when you think of the, all the different ways to chop up the, the content, it's the second best library in all of combat sports. I, I, I can't think of another combat sport that has a better library than, than, than the Contender Series. And, and to kind of piggyback that, you know, the, the ultimate fighter, we saw people go on eventually be Hall of Famers. When you look at the people that are starting to come out of contender series, it's it's still new enough that we haven't had any champs. Yep. But going in the future, if you have to look forward, do you think eventually we'll have more champs and Hall of Famers coming out of the contender series than possibly coming out of the the Ultimate Fighter? I do think that. Yeah, I do. I think that that you'll you'll find more world champions coming out of the contender. Yeah. I think so. I think so. Thank you. Yep. Dana, thanks for another great night. This weekend we got the free card. That's awesome. A numbered pay-per-view uh, or UFC. But how big is uh, the Madison Square Garden event trending? How many people are hitting you up for tickets? How, oh, how what's it looking like? It was there are no tickets. You know, we're sold out. The, the event sold out. I have no tickets. My block of tickets are gone too. Um, yes, the Madison Square Garden card is massive. Um, obviously, incredible fights on that card too. I'm looking forward to the main event. I thought I thought that Usman and and Colby Covington is one of the best fights that I've ever seen. The first fight, and um, um, I'm highly anticipating the second fight. Sounds good. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And yes, for those of you that don't know, this card is free. It is not pay per view. People can say it's not free. It's on ESPN Plus. It's free. <laughs> ESPN Plus is five dollars a month. Okay. You got to pay for cable or you got to pay for something to have TV. <clears throat> but this is a free fight. Two title fights, 
a ton of other great fights on the card, and it's free. Have a good night, you guys. <laughs>